let's work on the legs a little bit to make them uh, work a little bit better for us. So first we can go into edit mode. I'm going to extrude along the X axis, select this. I'm going to disconnect the parent and uh, I'm just going to move it. Whoops. Disconnect the parent. There we go. And we're going to call this bone knee.l. I'm going to select this bone and extrude. And we'll call this um, foot.l.ik. How about we select that and actually name it in the right spot? Foot.l.ik. And we're going to create one more bone, extrude X. Let's disconnect that. Disconnect. Disconnect that. All right. And I'll just move it back here. Just make that a little bit bigger. And we will call this the foot control dot L. Okay, so we need, oh, this is where it gets complicated. <laughs> so we're going to kind of interconnect all these bones. So the knee bone needs to be parented to the foot.l.ik and not connected. The foot IK bone needs to be uh, parented to the foot control bone. And this bone needs to be con parented to the leg upper. Sure, let's go to that. Leg upper dot L. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> I made a huge mistake. That one is the foot control dot L. So knee goes to the IK. The IK goes to the foot control. And this one goes to the foot control, but it doesn't need to be connected. So let's disconnect that from the lower. Is that right? Why didn't that not stick? Um, foot control dot L. Beautiful. So now we need to jump over into edit mode. I mean, um, thingy mode, pose mode. And let's add in some constraints. Constraints. So the first one is is we set the foot bone. We go to copy location and we will copy the location of the armature and we will do leg underscore lower dot L and we head tail. Let's change this all the way down to the bottom. Now with the IK which one is it? So I think if we press space and type IK, add IK to bone, new to new without empty. Yes, that's correct. So we select armature and this one will be foot.l.ik, which is correct. Armature bone and this will connect to the knee. Right. So that means now if I select this, we've got this one bone that can like controls the whole leg. So I can right click, uh, let's press left click, put it in and then brilliant. Right. Now I can do alt R alt G to re jig that. So, Let's do all that again with the other foot. <laughs> Extrude. 
and let's try and keep the same name standards naming standards f uh, foot r i k where are we where's my bones foot foot dot r dot i k come on there we go let's do a shift d and x on that one and that'll be our r knee and if we go down here this will be connected to the right ik brilliant and we can kind of marry uh, match these up so i need to shift d and x on that one as well and that'll be the foot controller r so if we copy this so foot control dot l and it needs to be disconnected foot control dot r this one here i believe is foot control r as well foot control r and this one is its own free will so everything is now matching brilliant so now this is where we go into pose mode and we go down on this one copy location yes armature lower leg armature uh, leg lower r and we change that to tail select the lower leg space ik add ik to bone uh, let's change that to armature well oh, which one does it go foot r ik foot r ik armature knee knee r so now that means ta da da now if this ever doesn't seem to be working um it just like the knees bending the wrong way or so on and so forth try maybe to move in edit mode this bone here bend it slightly this way um because i've had a few times that flake out on me and then that way it'll it seems to right itself um but now if i just simply go select oh, select these and h i don't need to see them so now we got a dude that walks around. <laughs>